I chose to study in physiology and pharmacology because the courses seemed to be exactly what I was interested in studying. They were in-depth yet broad enough that you could learn about all the different types of things in the body and exactly what you're interested in studying as well. I chose the Department of Physiology and Pharmacology because I have a sincere interest in learning how the body really works. Physiology is the study of how the human body works, so it looks at the function of all the different organ systems. Pharmacology is the effects of drugs on the human body and how drugs affect all those different organ systems. We have faculty members who are studying renal physiology, reproductive physiology, skeletal biology, uh, cardiovascular physiology and pharmacology, uh, the list goes on and on. The topics students would take in years two and three would cover mainly basic courses in general physiology. So in second year you'd have an introductory course in physiology, third year a more detailed course in introductory physiology. Same with pharmacology. In second year a general course in introductory physiology and with a more detailed course in third year. My favorite course in second year was cell biology as it provided me with the foundational knowledge to understand the events that occur at a cellular level and these have been essential in understanding upper level courses. My favorite course in third year was the Physiology 3130 lab and I enjoyed it because it perfectly complemented what we were learning in the Physiology 3120 class. We had the opportunity to work and do experiments on the body and for example, one of the ones that we did is that while we were learning in 3120 class about action potentials and their speed and how they have different factors, in the Physiology 3130 lab, we actually got to harvest a muscle and do different experiments on it so that we could measure the speed of action potentials. The student learning experience in physiology and pharmacology are so much fun, especially in third year. We have fantastic labs that students get to design their own experiments and test on each other. They get to uh, evaluate data and present to their colleagues in a smaller setting. And I think it's a great opportunity for students to get up on their feet and to communicate the things that they are learning. An honor specialization with a research project will give you a real appreciation as to what research really is and the skills to conduct your experiments the way you want them to go. We have a very large honors research program in our department. This year we took 90 thesis students to work in a variety of research labs. So students have an opportunity of selecting from a broad range of projects. Uh, examples include areas in neurophysiology and neuro neuropharmacology such as Alzheimer's and epilepsy. We also have a number of faculty who are researching in skeletal biology, so looking at osteoarthritis and how to fix those issues. We also have quite a number of faculty members working in the area of reproductive physiology, so looking at uh, fetal growth development and intrauterine growth restriction. A typical day in fourth year includes classes that talk about the cutting edge research in physiology, and then in the afternoon going to your lab and implementing those things in your own research project. You should consider physiology and pharmacology if you're interested in learning about how the body functions and the various regulatory mechanisms involved in this. Once I graduate, I plan to continue my studies in human physiology and one day pursue a medical degree. Once I graduate, I plan to attend medical school. Once I graduate, I plan to go to medical school.